Hi, I got this request recently through Snapchat to make a yoga routine that tones your entire body. So that's why I decided to do this power yoga routine that focuses on your arms, abs and legs and really will make you sweat. So hopefully you enjoy this one and yeah, send me requests through Snapchat in the comments or just subscribe to my channel to see a new video every Wednesday. But yeah, let's do this. Find your way into a downward dog. Pedal your legs to feel the stretch in your calves. Inhale and walk to the front and press your arms to the mat. And jump back into plank, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, upward facing dog and back to downward dog. Take your right leg between your hands and come up to warrior two. Find your balance, arms parallel to the floor. Inhale, come up into high lunge, arms up, exhale, back to warrior two, and inhale, high lunge, exhale, warrior two, inhale, high lunge, exhale, warrior, inhale, high lunge, exhale, warrior, inhale, high lunge, and exhale, warrior, and inhale, come up and now switch your legs, Position and do the warrior two on your left. First finding stillness in the posture and then inhale and come into high lunge. Arms up, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, come up, exhale, inhale, exhale. And keep on going. And now find your way back to downward dog through a vinyasa chaturanga upward facing dog and then downward dog in downward dog come on your toes a few times finding your breath again and finally jump or walk your feet between your hands feel the hamstring stretch And extend your right arm up and twist your body to your right. Breathe. Switch to your left. And back to your right arm up. And once more to the left. Come back to center. Inhale. Exhale, and inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, arms come down, and now come into a chair pose, arms above your head. Find stillness in the posture first. Sit down lower, and take your hands to your chest. And with an inhale, open your arms. Exhale, bring them back to your chest. Inhale, open them. Exhale, bring them back to your chest. Repeat this 10 times total. You can feel your thighs burning, but keep on going. You can do it. Few more. Inhale, arms come back. And exhale, arms back to the center. Few more. And take your arms to the center and twist your body to your right, calming your breath in this twisting chair pose. keeping the balance and come back to center and inhale open your arms exhale back to your chest repeat 10 times keep on going
few more. This is the one last set. And twist to your left, palms together. Breathing here. And come back to center, inhale, arms come up and exhale, arms come down. Now, find your way into a wide-legged pose, making it into a forward fold. Let's rest here for a little bit, calming the breath and feeling the stretch in your hamstrings. Trying to make your head touch the mat, but it's not necessary. Inhale and come all the way up. Turn your feet inwards a little bit and prepare to sit down into a goddess pose. Take your hands to your chest, find comfortable position and let's do some squats. With an inhale come up, exhale come down and repeat this movement 10 times. Keep breathing, with every inhale you come up and with every exhale you come down. Focus on the controlled movement and sitting down enough. Few more. And find the stillness in the goddess pose again. Catch your breath. and move through a vinyasa to a downward dog. And hold it here in downward dog. Place your forearms on your mat into a dolphin pose. Lift your right leg up in the air, wiggle off the tension from the squats, bring it down and lift your left leg up and do the same, bringing it then back to your mat. And now lower down into a plank with your forearms, holding it here, find stillness and now begin bringing your knee to touch your nose. First, the right leg comes towards your chest and repeat 10 times with each leg, 20 total. Keep on going. Remember, 20 total. You can do it and find your way into a child's pose. Resting here for a few breaths. Find your way back up into a seated and form a boat pose. You may have your legs bent or extended. Mm -hmm. 
finding stillness in the pose first, and when you are ready, keeping your legs lifted, begin to take your right knee to your left elbow and vice versa. Repeat 10 times on each leg. Controlling your core muscles. Few more. And come back to seated. Got your breath. And next, let's play around and try to get up into a crow pose. If you can't hold the pose yet, or never even tried it, now it's the time. So let's play around a little bit. It's okay if you don't manage to do it, but at least try to do it. And when you have hold it for a little bit, jump back into blank and perform a vinyasa. You can do the vinyasa without the crow pose if that's what you prefer. And then jump or walk your legs between your hands. And let's try to do the crow pose once more. You can also just perform a regular vinyasa this time as well. But try to practice the crow. And then jump back into plank chaturanga and come rest in downward dog. Inhale and exhale and come into upward facing dog. Maybe twist your body left and right. And push back into downward dog. Lift your right leg up, exhale, bring it between your hands and come to a low lunge. Find stillness and calm your breath in this pose first. And take your arms into cactus arms and inhale, push them back, exhale, draw them in, inhale, push back, exhale, draw them in and inhale and exhale, opening your back like this and come back to downward dog. Lift your left leg up and bring it between your hands and take your arms into a cactus pose after you found stillness in the pose. And inhale, push them back. And exhale, draw them in. And return to downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bring it between your hands and straighten the leg, come into runner's stretch. Breathing here. Come back to downward dog when you're ready. And lift your leg up and bring the left leg between your arms and repeat on the other side, feeling the stretch in your entire leg. come back to downward dog and inhale jump your legs between your hands and go lay down on your mat let's get into a bridge pose keep your shoulders down and push your hips up 
touch the heels with your fingers and begin to lower down the hips with an exhale and inhale lift them up exhale down inhale up down up down up down up and now hold the bridge pose for five breaths maybe interlace your fingers or keep your fingers by your heels come back down and now your option is to repeat the bridge pose or come up to a full wheel pose. Try it out or stay with the bridge pose. However, we will stay in the wheel pose for 5 breaths. So come up, holding it here for 5 breaths and soon we will lower down our head and continue the pose by moving our hands closer so now lower down your head walk your arms closer and lift up again holding it for a few more breaths and finally come down and take your legs up into a happy baby maybe rolling your lower back left and right opening the tension in your lower back and then bring your right leg on top of the left knee and feel the stretch pulling the legs towards you Calming down. Switch the legs and pull them closer to you gently. Keep breathing. And now release your legs and rock your body back and forth. And do one more vinyasa if you want to. And then go lay down into a savasana. Resting here for two more minutes. taking in everything you learned through this practice.
and turn to your right and slowly coming up back to seated thank you for joining this practice hopefully you liked it and thank yourself for being awesome your body is capable of amazing things have a great day Thank you for watching this video, maybe leave a comment what did you think about this one and subscribe to my channel.